What is up, Panayan Ready, and welcome back to another deck profile. And in this one, we're going to be showcasing an updated Chaos Ritual deck profile. Now, with the release of the Mecha Tins, we got Chaos Max Magician, I say their variant. And I decided to spice up the Ritual deck a little bit and see how it really actually goes. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Of course, because it's morally a Chaos build, we are running our two big boss monsters, our big OTK pushers, two Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Now, without further ado, if you do not know what this card does, which it's been out for a long time, it can be summoned with Chaos Form, it's a ritual monster, of course, and it cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So it does provide really good uh, protection, just generic protection on its own, but what is the best part about this card is it, the double piercing that it can inflict to defense position monsters, which is absolutely insane. So definitely with the two of those, and to also help out with the Blue Eyes Chaos OTK build, one Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon by itself, because... One, it's very searchable. Two, it's like a thirty or twenty dollar card right now, so it's more, this is going to try to be more a budget if you can afford just one copy because this card has virtually the same ability as, as Blue Eyes Chaos Max, except for without being four thousand is three thousand, and you can change the positions of as many monster opponent controls, and it do make their attack and defense zero if it's used to bring out if you use it. I see a blue eyes to ritual summon it out, which there is ways to do that. So it sets up your OTK with your Blue Eyes Chaos Max. So going now onto say the other chaos parts, we have the new Magician of Black Chaos Max. Now this guy is really really good because not only you see, you trigger one monster, you can your, your opponent cannot activate monster effects this turn. So during your turn, it's a skill drain, it stops all your opponent's monsters effects instantly. Then if this card destroys an op opponent's monster by battle, you can then target one of your spell cards and add it back to your hand. So in a ritual deck that's really good so you can recycle your ritual spells over and over again and to accommodate the black chaos max we have one magician of chaos now this guy is really really cool as well once return if a spell or trap card effect is activated you can target one card on the field and destroy it so as soon as a spell or trap card is activated you can pop something on the field now if this ritual summon card is destroyed by battle or card effect you can then special in one Chaos or Black Luster Soldier Ritual Monster from your hand, ignoring the summoning conditions. So you can instantly bring out your Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon, or even better yet, your Blue Eyes Chaos Max. And if you really want to go into it, we do have the one Black Luster Soldier Super Soldier. He's really good because with the Mini Knights, which we rock one of each, we can give him abilities. And plus the Mini Knights really nice because they can help set up the Chaos Engine and just the Banish effects to give the more searching for the deck. Uh, the other one-off ritual monsters, because they're just amazing. Uh, one, a Demise Supreme King. Uh, he's literally your board wipe and push for more OTK, because this deck just wants to wipe and push for OTK. Uh, two, Incantation Child Slams. This guy is insane, because all you have to do is reveal him, and you can special summon one Incantation monster from your deck instantly. It allows you to get your incantations a lot faster. It's amazing. Then... You can send one incantation card from your hand or face in the field of the grave, then target one monster opponent controls and destroy it. So it has a pop effect as well. So it's really good. Then one Cryaltar, the incantation originator. He's cool because he allows you to get rid of your extra incantation monsters for like link summons or something like that without having their pesty drawback of can I summon from the extra deck. So it's pretty cool, but only one off because he's really not as good as Chalice Slime and the effect you can just reveal him and then you can discard a card and special summon someone from the an incantation from the graveyard. So it does have that recycle, but it's not as good as uh, Chalice Slime. And then to round out the ritual monsters, one Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon. He is literally your giant Trunade plus your Red Eyes Darkness Flare Metal in one package. As soon as he's summoned, all spell and traps your opponent controls go back to their hand and then. It cannot activate a card's or effects in response to this effects activation, so it completely gets rid of their back row, sets you up for clear swing for game. And then, every time your opponent activates an effect, your opponent must pay 500 white points to activate card effects. So, it definitely burns them down, especially in time scenarios. Uh, for more of the Chaos Package stuff, definitely two Black Luster Soldier Envoy at the beginning. Instantly easily to br easy to bring him out, very easy. He's just an amazing card to get out. If you do want to rock, I thought about taking maybe one out and substitute for maybe a Chaos Dragon Levianir to have that more 
ability to maybe rip a card out of your opponent's hand for free special summon from the graveyard or an additional special summon uh, from the hand. So definitely, I thought about maybe putting a Chaos Dragon Levin Year in place of one of these, but for now, it's just two because the Black Luster Soldier spice. Uh, your advanced ritual targets, uh, one Blue Eyes White Dragon and one Dark Magician to set up your plays, uh, just for ritual fodder mostly as well. Also, Blue Eyes is good because he can be a trade-in target as well. Now we're going to go into more of the staples of the deck. Um, three Manju, of course, uh, sets up all your ritual searching, search, searches out that missing piece you might need. He There's no explanation for there. Uh, the two mini knights I mentioned prior before. I do like the two mini knights because, one, they're just good to send off to the graveyard or something for the ritual or set up for graveyard plays because once they get banished from the graveyard because of Black Luster Soldiers or some other chaos uh, engine we might have in the deck, you can then search off a ritual, I believe it's a ritual monster, and then a ritual spell. So it's just more ritual summons, and plus they're level, say more level 4s for a rank 4 engine. Well, one rank 4 monster we have that's really good for the deck. Then we're going to go into your incantation uh, setup. Two candle, very standard. Then, oh, uh, no, two talismandra, two candle. So searches basically all the search power you ever need right there and then for recursion one bookstone and one pencil plume for your recursions um definitely a good package i thought about maybe bumping each incantation up to one uh to basically subbing out maybe the knights to add a little more ritual uh, return and consistency for the special summons but i'm still testing around with it but i definitely if you do not like the mini knight aspect of the deck you can definitely throw in a pencil plume and a bookstone and replace for those two knights now on to the spells the spells are pretty much your standard uh, ritual stuff. Two advanced ritual arts. Um, amazing to get out any cards. Um, sets up your plays. Uh, pl plus, with the normal monsters only being at one, those are your garnets for the deck. So you hope you don't draw those so they're still in the deck. But definitely a, just an overall good ritual card. Uh, two, preparation of rites. Good recursion to bring back your ritual spells from the graveyard. And also to search out your level 7 ritual monsters because we do run a few in the deck. So definitely a good way and just more consistency for the plays. Uh, the best ritual deck card in the opinion because of the all, all the incantations is three incantation inception it's amazing this card can do so much it has an a great amazing graveyard effect where you can send one incantation card from your hand or face it in the field of the graveyard except for it special one incantation monster from the deck and then add this back to your hand so it just continuously brings out your ritual plays and it's insane um, of course, because it's a chaos variant, uh, two chaos form, uh, if you do end up having your blue eyes in the graveyard, especially with the advanced ritual art setup, you can just bring this and banish it from the graveyard for your blue eyes or your dark magician of chaos. Definitely just another great solid card. Uh, the one super soldier synthesis, uh, is bring up, um, like I said, for the beginning night, mini night. So if you do cut that, you can cut this out, throw another chaos form in if you, if you wish. But I do like it because you can send from the deck with this card, so you can set up your graveyard really nice. Uh, for draw power, of course, we're rocking lots of level eight, so three trade in to add a consistency. If you do not have a, well, if you if you're not on a budget with this deck, you can replace this with three pot of extravagances. You don't need the extra deck at all, hardly. So if you can sub those out for these, it'd be better for you because you don't have to rely on the level eights in your hand at the time. And then to round up the main deck, we have the one Monster Reborn, because it's just Monster Reborn. Uh, you cannot reborn your Chaos Max, which is unfortunate, but you still have tons of Ritual Monsters and ton, a lot of other boss monsters you can get back as well. But that will do it for the main deck. Let's just go right on to the extra deck. Uh, more little consistency. I do run uh, one Degaris the Timeless uh, Insane card. Uh, you detach the two materials for level four. Then you can either uh, draw two cards and then dis discard one. Um... Uh, Special summon a monster from the graveyard, or skip the battlefields and double attack one monster on the field and the turn. So push form or TK. He just adds more consistency and it's just a really good card, especially if you do have that level four setup. Uh, lots of level eights now because of the level eight engines we can rock. Um, one Lancelot, one Thunder and Dragon just to clear out the board. Same with Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord, and also Dragon Lubin to push forward your Tachyon Dragon. Um, OTK as well. Then the Galaxy stuff. Uh, Galaxy Full Armored. Galaxy Cypher Blade. Uh, Neo. Galaxy Eyes Tachyon. This is the guy you can go in with Drag Loom. Um, one normal Galaxy Eyes Tachyon as well because he's just an amazing card. And then more OTK potential is the Prime Photon Dragon as well. So definitely just rank 8 engines just spits out. If you want you can add in uh, even the say Orcus let's say rank 8 as well just to have more 
of the rank 8 engine also. And then also to finish up is Cypher Dragon as well, just to take your opponent's stuff. I mean, it's take your opponent's stuff, why not? Uh, for the little Link monsters we have, I thought maybe generic, uh, say, Wipe, probably would be the best suit if we can actually get out the Links. Uh, one Trasbania for back row, of course. Then one Topological Bomber Dragon to blow up your opponent's uh, board with their monsters. And then to finish it off, we have two Nephys of the Sacred Flame. Now, if you can get him out, you pretty much can get a 4800 beater that cannot be destroyed by card effects or battle, and it cannot be targeted as well. So if you do get the right setup for this card, it can be an insane card to go into. So that will pretty much do it for this Ritual deck, Black Luster Chaos variant. It's a really fun deck. I mean, it's just potential with OTK is just insane. But see, let me know down in the comments below on what you think, and also leave a like, comment, and subscribe like always, and also ring the bell so next time I upload a video, you'll instantly know if YouTube is working that day. But thank you for watching, and until my next video, bye-bye.